Oh, what is even an age? What do we want at Groove in winter? Now I have arthritis in my neck. I have alostro in my knees. Hmm? I have gout in my ear. I can still hear the music ringing in my nose. I can smell the hubbly with my toe. Ah, no. Nyan amugela in Obenyami, bumped Abba dad, bumped Abba coco, bumped Abba auntie, bumped Abba sissy. I am Sims and it's at the right Sims on Instagram. So please, uh, sneeze. Yeah. Happy Sunday, everybody. I feel exactly how I look. But because I've made a promise to commit to this challenge. It's day 28 of the challenge and we've posted 20. We posted 30 videos actually in July. Wow, we've done amazing. I wish the AdSense was saying the same thing, but it's not, guys. It's really not. I'll show you tomorrow where we sit on the AdSense. Now, today's video is about my colleagues. So how this video goes is that um, my colleagues Mo and Pindi have a podcast and they recently had the beautiful Nozip who is from the Mummy Club um, on their um, episode, right? And um, Nozipo, we all know her, she's been experiencing some difficulty with her marriage because her husband wants a second wife. Now, so, so oh, Nozipo was explaining her journey um, with regards to that. Durban. As he's gone, my eldest son, he's in the trick, he's writing trials in my pen. He says to me, Mom, I keep saying to you something is wrong and you're lying to me. Oh. And I said, I'm not at my boy, at mommy, at your dad, and you sit holding hands and watch TV. But this weekend, you didn't do that. Oh, man. And he says, I'll tell oh, you see, now. You're going to make me cry. At today, your laces were undone. And daddy didn't do your laces. Oh, no. And I was like, Ling is born so much. Yeah. And that's when I said, you know what, I'm tired of lying to my son. And I said, this is what your dad is saying. This is what he wants to do. I, I remember hearing him. Yeah. A keeper, like a huge, <gasps> like, oh, like almost like he, he can't on. breathe, you know. Mm. And this is now my son, but who's very close with A lot of people heard how Nozipo was just like relaying the story of how she and Zola met, the things she's had to enjoy, even when they were still dating. I mean, Zola having children outside um, the relationship and even going as far as Zola saying, Hori, Nozipo like was always around, like, I feel like, you know, like, like, ah, oh, fine, let me marry you because you're always like around and doing the most type of thing. This is not verbatim, guys, but that is just, like, the context of, ugh, she was always around and doing the most, so, like, mm, okay, okay, I'll marry you, gosh, I'll marry you, you know? So then, someone else took that part and was like, yo, these were signs was from the time they were dating, with this was not a good man for her. And then someone um took that paragraph from Twitter and quoted it and said, funny enough, um Brandon Praise, who is Mbumi's husband, my colleague here. And he was like, Brandon Price said something similar about Mbumi. And they seem to be happy and in love. Him saying that Mbumi was always around, you know, and then someone like showed us that clip. Take a look. When we were dating, my biggest thing, right, was that I couldn't, <laughs> this is going to be so weird to say, <laughs> but like I couldn't, get rid of <laughs> not in a bad way like so, sometimes like i didn't understand why we were together but i just couldn't get rid of you and every time like we would break up and then i just miss you and be so miserable and be like man why do i keep doing this um guys hey angaz hey mina angaz you know one thing about social media like there will be a one hour episode of something like we've seen like nami i've been like at fault for this like you'll take that one spicy clip and then like 
we don't take the whole context of that conversation and we just run with, with, with whatever we see. But even in the clip, Ubrandin is like saying, Kore, I don't mean it in a bad way. Or, and then he also says, but guys, I wouldn't want someone that I love. Say, Kore, you were always around. But then he redeems himself by saying, Uti, but when we break up, I'd be miserable without you and I'd want to be with you. You know, I don't know what he means by saying that, but I'm just going by how their relationship is. And it seems like they've found their forever with each other. They seem happy. They seem to be in love and just like giving marriage good PR because marriage doesn't have good PR. Whereas Uno Zipo, Uno Zola, he doesn't seem like he meant it in a kind way. Like you were always around. Like it took me a while to just like, you are my babe, you know? Because now he's like taking another wife and stuff. So I don't know how are we interpreting like these specific words, Guti. I married you because you were always around. What does always around mean? Like, I was making you nagami. I was always in your face. I was like giving you more attention than you required. I loved you. Like, what? What? Can someone please? Because I, if if someone I love says to me, I married you because you were always around. I'm going to scream for six months, two days and four hours. And then after that six months, I want them to explain to me, what do you mean? After they explain to me, what do they mean? I'm going to put them like this on the street and hope a truck, a bus and a train goes over them. Then an elephant comes on top of them while they try to get up. The ambulance that's coming to fetch them also hits them. I just, you were always up. What? What does always around mean, guys? Please, please ignore. This is a conversation. We are not dragging anyone. We are not tearing down anyone's anything. Please, it's a conversation, right? We are using these clips, these for context. When someone says to you, I couldn't get rid of you. You were always around. What do you mean? Like, what do you mean? I just started getting a headache now. I didn't even drink. I was just singing, going home. Ah, oh, fuck, man. You were always around. Around what? Uti needs musiso. Hey, Uti, around ini. You were always around. I couldn't get rid, rid of Ubani. Yes, I'm a fan. They have their own life. Uh, 